Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. By the end of the video, you will be able to build something like this, write an email to my friend congratulating him on his new job. And as you can see, this is a chatbot and you must be very familiar with the chatbots these days so i wrote a question write an email to my friend congratulating him on this new job and i got the text back and it's super fast and you will be surprised to know that the model is running locally on my local machine and this ui is also running locally on my on my local machine on my home machine and in this video i'm going to show you exactly how you can do that too and not only that you can use the same procedure to deploy the large language models, the text generation models on a big ass server um, and uh, that can be used in production. So let's get started. The first thing that you need is text generation inference or also known as TGI. So it's a library from Hugging Face and people have worked really hard on this to make it production ready and th this is its library is like magic for llms you can just use this library and deploy all kinds of text generation models so today we will be deploying falcon 7b but that can this same process can also be used for 40b models since i'm using my local machine i and uh, i don't have a lot of gpu memory i'm using falcon 7b for the demo demo, demo today um, installing this is uh, very, very simple if you use Docker. If you don't want to use Docker, you have to uh, like install uh, from scratch and you have to build a lot of things. Um, so here is the process for local install. So you have to install Rust, then you have to uh, install Protoc, um, and then you have to uh, build the whole thing. But even before building uh, TGI, you have to install a few other things. Uh, so you you can go to server, and here are um, here is a make file for flash attention. So you have to install build and install flash attention, um, and all the commands are given here. So you can just use these commands and install flash attention, and you have to install VLLM. The problem is. Uh, Building flash attention is going to take several hours. It took a lot of time for me and I was being a little bit impatient. But the good thing is there is a Docker container. So you have to run just one single command to get everything up and running. And that's that's what we are going to do. So uh, let's go to VS Code. So I'm in my VS Code. Um, IDE and here I'll be using the terminal um, let's hide this part so all you have to do is run one single command and that's docker run so docker run uh, minus minus GPUs all I'm using all I have two GPUs I'm using both of them but it will ultimately use only one GPU and only 10 gigabytes of memory so you can run it on your own computer and then you define the port mapping so port 80 is goes to our port 3000 on localhost so I, I'll be using this endpoint on port 3000 and then I mount a volume slash data and then I have this uh, log level because I want to see some logs. You can just remove this. And this is the path to the Docker container. And then you define the model. So model ID can be, it can be your uh, local folder or it can also be um, a model from Hugging Face. So this is a Falcon 7B model. Um, but not the Falcon 7B Instruct, which is the official model. This is from Open Assistant, and uh, I'm using one shard. So let me just quickly copy this command, and uh, I will go to text generation 
inference folder and here i can run the command because i have the data folder here and i've already downloaded the model one so i don't want to download it again um so the first time you run this command it's going to take take a while because it has to download everything and this volume is very important so if you don't add this it will download the model again and again so let's run this command okay uh, so it's starting download process it shows like uh, all different kinds of arguments that we can use so um, you can also use quantization so if you use quantization you can run in 10 gigabytes of memory uh, of gpu memory so you can use quantization like from bits and bytes so now it's running and uh, if we go back to uh, firefox we should be able to see it running but uh, you also need to forward the port uh, 3000 slash docs okay so let me forward the port now it should work okay um so i've done the port forwarding in vs code i'll show you in a while um so you have uh, two endpoints generate and generate stream then you also have metrics and health check and everything so this is like this is really like magic so you have to you have to try it out and you can just deploy it in production um, okay so now you have everything so if I go to generate and I can just try it here so let's see does it generate anything okay execute and now i have uh, generated hi my name is oliver and i'm an avid traveler and photographer okay um so this was my input and these are like all the parameters that you can use we will be changing the parameters so these are the default parameters and you can you also use curl or you can you can use the python client so text generation inference uh, also has a python client you can just do pip install text generation and you can use it like this so you import the client set the client to like here we have 3000 port and then you can just generate or you can also use generate stream pretty cool right and it took like what us 20 seconds to run the command but yeah you, uh, it also has to download the model so it will take a while um okay now we are going to see another thing called chat ui which is also built by hugging face and we will be running it locally too um okay so to to run chat ui so you, here is a github hugging face hugging face slash chat hyphen ui and uh, to run this, uh, it's it's very simple. The only thing that you need is to install npm, and you need to have a MongoDB instance. So for MongoDB, we can again we can just use Docker. So the command is given. You don't have to do anything. You just copy paste the command if you have the doc if you have Docker installed, and you can run a MongoDB server. So I'll I'll take this command and go to vs code again and here so here i had forwarded the port 5000 and 5173 5173 is forwarded because the chat ui runs on 5173 and here i can have a new terminal and inside this i can run mongodb so it's just docker run command that i've copy pasted um Since I have already used it, uh, it say it tells me like I have to choose a different name. I, okay, uh, let's say add a hyphen here. Okay, so now my MongoDB is running, um, and you can check it using Docker PS. So here I have uh, the text generation inference, and I have the Mongo chat. Uh, UI which is the name of the container okay um, so 
we have both these running now we can set up um chat ui so what i've done is i've cloned the repo uh, using git clone command uh, so all the repo so my repo files everything is here and you have to create a new file called dot env dot local so when you have this new file you have to have only two environment variables so this is a very basic example and i'm, I'm showing you uh, you don't need you don't need to do a lot so you have mongo db url which is mongo db 127 so it runs on this url and the next thing that you have to do is create a list of models so we will be using one single model. If you go to dot n file, here you will see uh, all different kinds of environment variables and all the different kinds of things that you can do. There's a lot of things that you can do, but for the purpose of this video, we are only using the uh, only only two environment variables that is MongoDB that we need and models. So I have copied models from uh, dot env and by default it runs the open assistant model so my pre-prompt message and token assistant message token user message token all remain the same i can also change the name here okay remove this one and uh, change the model name to my local llm okay so wh whenever you use a different model and uh, one more thing that you have to do here is add a new key endpoints. Since you will be using your local endpoint, you have to add this new key and um, like this. And inside you have URL. And the URL is just the URL for uh, your uh, text generation inference endpoint. HTTP 127 point one and 3000 okay so now you have this uh, endpoints and we are missing a comma here and a description whatever it is a description you want the user message token so the message has to be formatted something like uh, prompter or the user says this and assistant assistant says this then how does the message end it ends using this uh, token and a pre-prompt so the pre-prompt here is below are a series of dialogues between various people and an ai assistant the ai tries to be helpful polite honest blah 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 um, humble but knowledgeable and the assistant is happy with almost anything and will do its best to understand exactly what is needed uh, should not give misleading information uh, should give the right answer and uh, don't let caution get too much in the way of being useful and this so the the model was trained using this pre-prompt and uh, this uh, user message token and assistant message token so this is very important so when, whenever you're using a different model you should know like what kind of pre-prompt was used you can ex also experiment with different kinds of pre-prompt so you don't have to always use this but these three things are really very important to use properly. So we have a few parameters here and I'll just keep them on default. You can play around with it if you want to. And now to run this, it's also very simple and easy. So what you have to do, you have to install NPM. And if you don't have NPM, then you should just Google it, how to install NPM. And uh, you will you will find like, uh, results uh, um, top results are I think uh, quite enough and here I can just clear uh, change something here okay comma let's save this file and clear and here I can run npm install and and npm run dev 
So this is going to um, install the chat UI and it's going to run it on port 5173. So let's go and open this 5173. I think I already have it forwarded. So I can just go and open this in Firefox. Um, okay, so I'm getting an internal error. So let's see what the error is. Saying that I should have mongodb underscore URL. Okay. Um, so just so you can see, this is the error. And uh, the only problem is this underscore here. I, sh I added an extra underscore. And let's just run this again. So now we are in Firefox and I can open the web page 5173 uh, and yeah here we go everything is set up it's running my local LLM model page won't work because uh, we have not defined the link uh, so I can I can just write write an email to congratulate a friend on his new job Okay, so it's, it's giving subject and blah, blah, blah. Uh, congratulations again. And uh, it has also printed uh, some stuff that we probably don't need. But the idea is it works. And uh, we, can, we can try it with several things. Like how can I read a CSV file in Python without using pandas? Okay, that works. Right. Uh, it's giving me some code that I can use. I can also just copy it from here. And uh, we, we can also talk about different things. Uh, how to make chicken tikka masala. Okay. Yeah. Pretty good. So much text and it's so it's super fast. Can I make it at home? So just wanted to show you here that it's keeping the context. So you also don't have to care about that. So yeah, that's I think uh, that's that's it for today's video. And uh, um, I hope you liked it. You can just deploy it at home machine. So currently it's using 15 gigabytes of uh, GPU memory for me. But if you use quantization from bits and bytes, it's going to use only uh, 10 gigabytes of memory. So you can run it on your home machine uh, quite easily. You can also use the same command since text generation uh, inference or TGI is a production ready uh, Docker container. Uh, you can just deploy it uh, for your production usage. So the idea is if you can co if you combine what I showed you in the previous video about fine tuning your own uh, LLM, uh, so you can create your own LLM on your own private data set, uh, like a chat LLM, and then you can uh, use chat UI to deploy it locally uh, using uh, text generation inference and uh, nobody is going to take a look at your data so i guess that's it for today's video i hope you liked it if you did like it do leave a comment do like do subscribe the video do share the video with your friends and see you in the next one goodbye